What's up? Welcome back to the channel. So we just made it here to Visalia. Um, I was out in Fresno picking up the turf, as you can see. Um, we have about 370 something square feet of play on turf. Um, we're out here in Visalia, like I said. We're at this academy, it's a bingo. Um, kids daycare. Um, it's super nice, man. Um, I just got here. I'm gonna go ahead and unload the, the turf tomorrow morning. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the DG. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and talk to, I believe her name is Alyssa, um, over the cars that are here, making sure, um, nothing's in the way. That way my, my I can get my job done as fast as, as I told her I was going to get it done. So I can't talk kind of out of breath, <sighs> but yeah, guys, um, it's been a cool morning. Um, just to get this done i'll talk about um what we're gonna be doing here um in a little bit for you guys but yeah it's an academy out here in visalia it's a bingo academy it's super nice but yeah guys let's get to it Sheesh. what's up guys so we're out here back at the bingo place um yesterday i went ahead and brought all the material which was just the turf and some of the sand Today we have the DG, as you can tell here in the trailer, we have the DG. Um, Adrian right now is ripping out their old little turf they had from Costco. Some pretty cheap stuff. Um, it looks pretty nasty. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have to clear all this out fairly well. That way we can go ahead and throw the DG on there. Um, we have the turf playground over here. Um, you can see it out there. Um, we have all our equipment ready. So we're about to go ahead and just clear it out, like I said, leave it as a time lapse for you guys. But yeah, guys, let's get it. Jeez. So that's that real quick. Took out that old turf. Looked like a piece of dog poop. Uh, we, get a bit, we gave it a quick little level. I'm gonna go ahead and rake it. Get all the big rocks and stuff out. But yeah, that was pretty quick. It's a small area, so should be done by today. By around three, four. But yeah, guys, it's looking pretty cool. All right, guys, so we just finished leveling everything out pretty good. Um, you can tell in the background, it looks pretty good. I like it. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and run the compactor through it. Adrian is just getting the rest of the sand to throw around here, but it looks pretty good. DG is all spread out. It's looking pretty level already as it is. It wasn't very bad when we first started, but it's looking pretty good now. Adrian's giving it a quick wet down that way we're gonna run the compactor through it that way it just compacts a little bit more um the ground is pretty soft um we hit it up with the shovel when we leveled it but i like how it looks already it's pretty fast today but we're gonna go ahead and level it out with the level with the vibe plate give it that good good compact
just got back from lunch, guys. We're about to go ahead and start cutting, stapling. Shouldn't take us more than an hour, maybe two, um, to get everything cleaned up and situated and get that paycheck. But yeah, we went ahead and rolled out the turf. Um, it's been laying here for a good, maybe 20, 30 minutes. We just got back from lunch, like I said. Adrian's unloading the sand, the silica sand, getting it ready to throw in the turf. Um, builder, classic seed dropper. Um, I got my turf kicker, got my blades. But yeah, guys, let's get this cutting done. Get everything looking nice. That way we can staple out of the dirt, brush it, and get out of here. Academy, bingo place, kids, playground, daycare area. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, edit for you guys that me and Adrian put together today. Today is what? Tuesday? 420! <laughs> What's up guys? A lot of people ask, what is the lifespan of artificial turf? The lifespan of artificial turf starts from 10 years up to 25 years, just depending on the manufacturer of your turf. Um, the turf I've been installing for the past year is usually Tiger Turf um, or turf that they sell here in Tulare. I'll go ahead and drop the description down below for you guys if you guys wanna go ahead and check out some of the turfs that they have. If you guys are interested in prices and types of turf, just go ahead and check out the website. Like I said, I'll go ahead and drop the description down below. Um, the reason I'm waiting it right now um, the five inch to six inch steel nails that we were using, um, they get a better grip when they're wet. We went ahead and added a base, which is the DG. You guys seen us um, leveling it out with the DG. So that DG goes ahead and grabs the nails very firmly, makes the turf obviously hard to pull up. Right now it's a little, it's a little um, loose just because the nails aren't fully gripped. And then tomorrow when the sun hits it, the turf is going to go ahead and relax and expand a little bit more. Like when you leave a piece of plastic outside, it always tends to get hot, right? But when there's a bit of shade on it, like here is a perfect area that they chose out for a playground piece because during the summer, it's going to be pretty hot during 11 through 2, but in the afternoon or in the early, mo early mornings, it's going to be pretty good. But yeah, that's the reason I'm waiting it, guys. And again, thank you guys for checking out the channel. Hopefully you guys like this edit. And stay tuned for the next.
new project, new project. Super excited, guys. Leveling going pretty good, cleaning everything up. It's gonna look sick. <laughs> So that makes it a lot easier, man. We used to carry these shits. This right there, it's a uh, 15 by 40, just about 700, maybe 500 pounds. Crazy. We got two of them. Teachers Appreciation Week. Shout out the teachers. Yesterday, we weren't able to see the level all that good because the little canopy shade thingy, the shade, it was reflecting on the floor, just looked really weird, but it's looking pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and run the compactor through it. Um, it looks good, everything's ready. I'm gonna go ahead and lay, lay down the weed fabric right after I finish compacting. All right guys, let's get to it, second day here. Sheesh. This one took work, but we got it in. Looking pretty good. Got one, two, three seams, four, five, six. So we're not gonna have seams on that side, just in the middle, so they're out of sight and looks good. When they walk in through the front door, they just see a good, nice, full piece. Just got it done, guys. Right here with the brush. Got on my boy Adrian. Sheesh. Nice. Here it is, guys. Damn, they already got a crib and a car. And a picnic table. Sheesh. 12. It's a 12. Shout out. Alyssa, I believe. Hopefully, they like it tomorrow. How's it looking, guys? So, we just finished up the rest of the academy. So they called me out here last week to give them a quote for the other area because um, this area back here, if you could tell, um, this little small infant area, this was for the toddlers. This was, a good, I guess, a little bit too small. So her licensing person or whatever came out here and told her that due to COVID and all the regulations, this space needs to be bigger. So we went ahead and added another 10 by 11. And then I don't know if you guys remember, they had a bunch of bark right here. But again, the little kids come out here and grab big handfuls of bark and just throw the bark everywhere. So um, this was maybe two, three weeks ago. We did that project as well. Um, it's the same type of turf that we installed here. But yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this long edit, but I'm gonna just go ahead and do it all in one because it is one big project. So like, comment, share, and fucking subscribe, guys. Peace.